What's up guys, it's Curly Guy here and I am b -b 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 back with another video. You guys, I want to make a shirt with that on it and I, would you guys buy that if I made a shirt with that on it? Just a side note. But yeah, you guys, I am back with another video and as you can see by the title of this video, this is going to be my three simple steps to growing out long healthy hair. My three C's for growing out long healthy hair. And some of you guys probably already know what they are, but I'm going to fill you in on them. Um, but before I get into this video, if you guys have not subscribed, what you waiting for? I mean, the button is right there. It takes two seconds. Just click it and then click the little bell beside it. That way you won't miss anything when I upload. Um, but yeah, so go ahead and do that. And now we're going to jump right into the video. So as I stated previously, there are three C's for me to growing out long, healthy hair. As you see, I do have pretty long hair and it's pretty healthy, honestly. Um, I know you guys probably seen a video where I cut some of it and talked about like setbacks and stuff. But if you haven't, I will have that somewhere on the screen at the end of this video so watch to the end but yeah I'm just gonna be showing. I pulled out a whole bunch of stuff but I'm just gonna be showing you guys maybe two or three of each um, and the first thing is cleanse um, it is so important to keep a healthy scalp you guys and keep it cleanse now I don't mean clarify don't get those two mixed up um, cleanse and clarify kinda go together but they are separate entities like I only clarify my hair once a month, maybe twice a month, depending if I've sweat a lot or what has all been going on. But this is um, just two of my favorite things to cleanse my hair with. And this is what I actually use to clarify. The Build Up Buster. Um, this is the Build Up Buster by Diva Curl. Um, and I really like this product. Uh, it's 8 fluid ounces and I only use it every now and then maybe once a month so it's 8 fluid ounces but it's lasted me a really long time and it doesn't strip my hair I literally use it only on my scalp and it does suds up a little bit so yeah I really do like that and then, then I also use Win. I know you guys have probably heard that before um, I use that every now and then also to cleanse my hair because it is moisturizing no matter what they say about people suing him and all this that and the third it works fine for me and then the last cleanser that I'm going to show you guys is my His Mix um, by Mix Chicks. And this is what this one looks like. You guys have seen me use this before. And this is a clarifying shampoo. But it's not clarifying to the point where it strips. It just makes my hair feel thoroughly cleansed. Then the next C is condition. Now that means deep condition, treatments, all of that stuff together. And this is a protein treatment by Afrogy. It's a two-step. You guys have also seen me use this um, quite a while ago. Um, and that's the one I like to use if I'm just like trying to get a little boost of pro protein, but I don't want to do the full Monty, which I have somewhere. Oh, right here. And this is the two-step protein treatment. So this is the actual protein. This is the one that does smell like eggs, you guys. And then this is the balance and moisturizing conditioner that you use alongside it. So I like to use that when my hair needs a little bit of extra strength or a lot of a lot more strength if I've been doing a lot of styling or different manipulating and stuff so yeah which I'll probably use that one when I go back curly um just because I it did take so much manipulation to get your hair straight of course and then some, some more moisturizing ones is the melt into moisture one by Diva Curl that I absolutely love um I've used this one probably about four times now and I still have a decent amount. I know you probably can't see that. But I still have about half of the container. And then some cheaper alternatives to that one because it is kind of pricey. Is the Maui Moisture. I have the um, Bamboo Fiber one and the Shea Butter one. These are the two. Now this one is a little bit more packed with protein. So I'll use this one if I don't quite need the protein that the Apogee gives you. But I do need a little bit more protein than like coconut oil would give me. Then I use this one. And then this one is a little more moisturizing, but it's also protein enriched. So I just use this one. Um, pretty much I use this one every other week or something like that. And it's not that expensive. I think it's like $10, um, depending on where you get it. But yeah, I really love that one as well. And then the last one is also a strengthening protein treatment, which is the Diva Curl Deep Sea Hair Repair. And this is it right here. I did get these two together um, just because they kind of balance each other out. And I often use them together. I'll use this one first to add the protein. And then I'll go in and mo add moisture with this. Which is actually, I think I'll use this when I revert my hair back. Who knows what I'll use. Don't quote me, you guys. You guys will see that, though. I think I'm going to make a video on it. So, you will see that. And then, 
that was the second C, which was condition slash treatment, all of that crazy stuff. And then the last and final C is cut. So, um, you guys, I have recently realized how important it is to cut your hair. And you probably have already seen a video of me cutting my hair um, recently. If you have not, I will link that video somewhere in this video or down in the description box. Yeah, so make sure you check that video out. But I did just cut a significant amount of my hair off. And it was like one of the best decisions I made. Cutting your hair is so important because you have to make sure you're getting those split ends before they get out of control. Otherwise, they'll just keep splitting up and the damage will be irreparable. You'll have to cut off way too much hair. So nobody trying to do that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, ain't nobody got time for that. But um, yeah, so cutting your hair. I'm going to be cutting my hair as I probably stated already. I'm going to be cutting my hair every three months or trimming my hair every three months and I probably only have to trim off about a quarter of an inch but I'm going to make that a priority starting in January to do that every three months um, and just see how that goes. That's just trying something new. You guys, it's nothing wrong with doing something new so that's what I'm going to be doing as far as like trimming my hair. So yeah, those are my quick tips, you guys. That's all I really have. Um, those are three seeds. If you keep those and you stay consistent with them, well, I guess it's four seeds because consistency would definitely be one. If you stay consistent with those, your hair will grow and it will appreciate you for all of that. So before I go, I'm going to give you guys my bop of the day, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you guys that is um move you um move you like that move you by kelly clarkson of course it was on the screen somewhere i absolutely love that song it's so heartfelt you guys kelly clarkson can blow we all know that so if you have not checked out that video then if you not have not checked out that song then go do that you guys because it's everything to me i've been blasting it during my workouts which i know is weird but i really do like that song and i thank you guys so much much for subscribing keep subscribing because we're almost at twenty thousand subscribers and you guys know that giveaway is coming um, hopefully we won't be it. I'm pre-recording some videos, so hopefully, well, hopefully we have already reached 20,000 subscribers. But if not, we are well on the way. As always, you guys, if you can't keep it curly, keep it classy. <laughs> Bye, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs>